disappear from my hut, or I'll call the guards. Hey, six, and I'm not sure hey, what you. happened with the lighting there. Yes, what I know. What are you doing? I'm doing nothing. I'm leaving now, you prick. Yeah, not sure why we woke up at the Twilight Zone, but anyway. I'm gonna go talk to Talus. Talus. Let's talk about oh, he's smoking. Else. We gotta wait for him. Because we're gonna get a guide to the Orc Cemetery. Cor Angar sent me. He said you should take me to the Orc Cemetery so- So I'm the gopher again. Damn. Well then, come with me. Again, he says, as if, you know, we didn't completely bypass his services the first time. The game did not account for that, though, because how else were you supposed to know that you need to go raid the Black Goblin Cave and take the book? You wouldn't. If you hadn't already played it before. So yes, we're uh, gonna get him to drop us off at the cemetery, and then we will go get our new mercenary gear. If something gets fucked up and for whatever reason I can't get the mercenary gear, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably rage quit and have to start the record again tomorrow would be my guess, but uh, just hope that the programming holds itself together. And actually before we make that stop, Look at the new camp. We're gonna visit Cavalord on our way in. Cause now that it's chapter three, he should have a new bow for us. Hopefully something better than what we've got now. I mean, definitely something better than we have now. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've got enough ore and other garbage on me that uh, we could just buy whatever the best thing is. I'd have to put some points into decks though, but that's something that we can do while we're in the new camp. Talk to Lairs. See, I got a plan. It's all coming together. Cutting a very wide path. You could go left any time now. Dude. There we go. His path is always... Whatever. They put the nodes very far apart, and I assume it was to avoid, like, if you happen to I'm leave the scavengers there. I'm not taking across this bridge. I don't want to commit suicide. You must be mad to go in there. Even Bao Lukur and his Templars didn't get out again. We'll see what happens. Go. Go. Yes. Just go. Don't mind me. I know where it is. And it didn't even give us a journal entry, so that was apparently completely unnecessary as well. Fun stuff. Actually, while we're making this... What the hell? Oh, those are the nail clubs. I thought they were arrows for a second. The nail clubs were left behind yesterday. Where are you going? Surprised that that connected, considering how fast he was moving. Yeah, we'll also have to go to the old camp and clean it out of all the arrows and goodies that we can get our hands on for the uh, chapter four fiasco. But we can do that after the cemetery shenanigans. Because it's not plot important. And I'd rather do messing around towards the end of the day than start a day messing around, you know? Just seems like a better way to be. Keep people engaged from the beginning. Also, I turned the gore up in case nobody noticed. Turn the gore back on. It's weird, like, the last time I played the game I had the gore turned on. And I just kind of assumed the settings stayed, but apparently not. And I didn't change anything. It must just reset it every time you start a new game. The only thing that I can think of. Just a theory, haven't looked it up or anything. Could test it, but, uh, I think the jump mechanic thing was enough testing for one playthrough, don't you? Well, at this stage anyway. We're gonna be doing lots of testing once it gets uh, to the more fun, challenging bits where we're supposed to be using magic and trying to bypass it. Because, uh, actually, off record, I did some testing in the Orc Cemetery. Because yes, I do have a save file that's up in that location to see if there's any other way to feasibly get past that teleportation door. 
I could not get it. You can like clip yourself into the wall enough to be able to see it, but you cannot get through. I even tried doing the uh, weird pause trick that we're going to abuse later on. Didn't seem to do it either. It's because uh, doing the pause, um, if you do it just right, um, doesn't pause the character's movement. They just kind of like keep floating along. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I missed Cavalor. I got talking and distracted myself from my own plan. Well, there's ADHD for you. So we're gonna we're gonna do that in the opposite order then. We'll do the new camp thing and then we'll go see Cavalorn. It doesn't really matter. It's a round trip. Also, this way we can get our decks up. The only problem is that I don't know what my decks needs to be at, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Just max it and call it a day. I'm pretty sure all the dex requirements for bows are all round numbers, so I don't have to use those like 2 LP that is dangling away. I should really talk to Aiden too while I'm out and um... Whoops. Just get the skin lurker's ability to use up the one and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other one. Nothing I guess. Thanks for giving something to hyperfocus fixate on, devs. I'm sure there probably is something that you could use it on. Just can't think of what at this point. I mean, tactically, you could like throw the extra point into dex, but why would I bother? It's one dex. I'd rather my dex be round than my LP. Is that silly? Actually, no. So let's go see if we got the dialogue with Lee this time. If not, I'm gonna be pissed. Hey, Lee. I'd like to become a mercenary of the mages. Am I ready yet? Your deeds for the people in the old mine have demonstrated that you're quite a good man. I'd be willing to let you join the mercenaries. I'll give you a chance. How about it? I want to become a mercenary. A good decision. You tell me something. Why? Why have you joined us and not the old camp or the Brotherhood? I wanted freedom from the very beginning. We'll get our freedom back. Welcome, mercenary. Yay. Oh, it's not even the rogue armor with, like, one shoulder plate. It's just your regular shirt with a single shoulder plate. I lied, apparently. Um, let's have a chat with Wolf. He's got better bows now, but I think Cavalorn has a better one. But he's got, but we'll take a look. Do you trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. We know, Wolf. Man, look at all that ore, though. And look at all those arrows. Hedge bow, willow bow, oak bow. Yeah, I think Cavalorn's got a better one. I mean, I don't need to buy all these from him right now. In fact, it'd be better to spend my money elsewhere. We'll, we'll get a hundred of them. Just to be safe. Um, and you can have some crud swords. I'm looking for better armor. Since you're one of us now, I can sell you one. Oh, he's just got the bandit armor still. Okay. Um, where do I get better merc armor? Do I just have to earn it? I can't remember. Like in the old camp and in the Brotherhood, I'm pretty sure you can just buy it. That's not the case here. I don't normally join this camp, so all new. Not really, but just been a long time. I've given the list to Diego. Good. I positioned some men on the path to the old mine. Thoris's guards are lying dead in the forest even as we speak. They've already mugged the convoy? Where's my share? Go to see Gorn. He'll give you something. I know Gorn. He's no member of the gang. He's a mercenary who works for the mages. Yeah, that's right. Was he involved in this business? Knowing too much isn't good for you. 
Just go to see him and collect your share. Goins and cahoots. I want to better myself. All right, give me the decks. We'll have better aim. Well, we'll have better range, I should say, not aim. Wow, how far can we go? I can't teach. Well, that's as far as we go. Okay, and now to go see Gord about our share. I completely forgot about that side quest. Gorn, old pal. What were you doing with the, uh, the bandits? Stop eating. Hello. Why did you take part in one of the gang's raids? Who says I did? Why would you have so much of the stuff if it wasn't true? Don't you think that this is all from one hall? You take part in raids regularly? If I did, I couldn't tell you. Lee wouldn't like that one bit. I see. See you later. A true mercenary. Not even loyal to his own men. Alrighty. Oh, that's enough of that. The hell out of here. Oh, actually, let's talk to Mordrag. That's another thing we can do. We can report stop. him. You know the rules. Scrapers and rogues only. Are you going to try and stop me? No, just go. Just go. Well, how about you eat shit or I'll kill you. You're a cold-hearted murderer. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. All right. What? Oh, I guess we uh, lost the quest. Show me your goods. Choose something. Huh. Could have sworn there should have been dialogue there, but... There must be something Whatever. Story after all. That's not the sword that I thought it was. Oh, you can have some extra ore then, buddy. Value, not ore. Okay. Now to go see Cavalorn, and we can't forget this time because otherwise I'll be up shit creek with a pissy bow. I'm not sure that these will punch through the armor that orcs have. It might. But I'll probably die. A lot. Better to deal more damage than less. I mean, to be fair, I could have just gotten the bow that Wolf has. Um, and if Cavalorn has a better one, then buy that. But you always lose, like, 50% of the value, like, as soon as you buy something. It's like buying a car. <laughs> Nobody wants to get hosed that badly. And, yeah. Said I'd cook the meat, eventually. Haven't done that yet. Maybe we'll do it towards the end of the day. I don't think we'll need it for the cemetery. We'll get there. Come on! The invisible walls and the trees is really frustrating, but that's just kind of the way they did them back in the day, because they're, like, built on planes. Like, it's using a bunch of 2D, like, planes arranged in a 3D manner, and some of the planes, like, extend further than what you think they do. It's kind of like the ladders in Minecraft. To use a, I don't know, is that an outdated reference? Because Minecraft's like, I mean, it is a thing still, but it's not the craze that it used to be anyway. Where like the volume is still being used per se, but uh, you just can't see anything, it's invisible. Gavilorn! Wow, he was eating real fast. Show me your goods. The, the money. The Wolf Shredder. There we go. What a nice name. Okay, I'll give you one of those swords, and then you can give me some arrows too while we're at it. How many arrows do we have now? What's our situation like? We've got a thousand. Eleven hundred and fifty, basically. Ah, I guess we should equip the bow, shouldn't we? Ahaha! Wolf Shredder. What a lovely name. 
Why only wolves? I mean, I guess clearly they're the most hunted animal in the game. I like this bow though, it's like a cool textured black. Is the next bow gonna be cooler or is it gonna be a downgrade? I can't imagine anything looking cooler than this. Got some nice bent ridges. I think it looks better than anything out of Gothic 2 even. Anyway. So, I think this is the best bow we can get. Definitely for chapter 3, possibly chapter 4 as well. I'm not sure if they give us new bows in chapter 4. But it definitely is in chapter 5. Don't know about chapter 4, I guess we'll find out. And I'm pretty sure Cavalorn always has the best bow. Like, Wolf's got the second best stuff. Cavalorn's always got the best. Because, I mean, he's the universal guy, because even if you join, like, even after the old camp is pissed with you, he's always neutral. So it makes sense that the neutral guy is the one that you would go to. He's also more centrally located on the map. So it makes sense that way, too. Okay, how badly are we going to get beaten up by orcs? With our crappy merc armor. And our bow that will take out a lizard in two hits. How many hits do you think an orc's gonna take? My bet is like four. Four solid hits, probably. Maybe like three if we crit. I know, like a crit is double damage, so maybe two if we crit? Fine out. Hey guys, can we aim from this far away now? Holy shit, we're effective from range! Oh crap. He didn't save. Okay. Oh no! I should have saved. Fuck. So I guess that's the first game death that's uh, caused by actual monsters and not, you know, gravity. I was originally going to say it was uh, the first death not caused by my own ineptitude, but I think not picking up and getting the fuck out of dodge when... Uh, Biters start biting you is probably close enough to my own fault. It's not really the game difficulty being a problem, that's more just the guy with the ranged build going, Oh no, I can take some close combat, that's fine. Uh, although seeing how these guys are ripping me to pieces already, not really- oh shit. I missed this one. Not really looking forward to being in close quarters with orcs. But uh, we will do our best. All right, well, look at them potions. Costing a fair bit. Okay, so there's what, three or four orcs up ahead before we actually go inside so we can test our damage output. Um, so far not, wait a minute, okay. It did switch targets. Okay, we gotta go. This isn't working. Go, guy. Use the proper jump. Let's go. Close it. Close it. Open it. Open the distance between you. That's where my brain was. Oh, shit. Not good. Okay, good. We got a crit in. That helps. Oh, shit! <laughs> It came speeding down the mountain! I was not expecting that! Okay. Back up! Back up! Okay. We will pick up all the orc weapons. The chow down on bread, I guess? Best option at the moment. Okay, so I think there's two more down there. One. Yeah, it does have a buddy. Oh, it's currently fighting a Templar. Where? At least I saw the swings. Don't take your weapon out yet. 
So the uh, hunters are weaker than the scouts, interestingly enough. You wouldn't think that. The warriors are the ones that I'm really worried about. I don't think there's any warriors in here. Oh no, no, there definitely is one. It's mostly scouts, but I think there's one warrior in like the big chamber if memory serves. Hopefully we can do enough damage. Luckily we have an invincible guy with us, so we got a shield. Okay. Orcs. Oh, there's one. That is the wall that we're hitting. I do appreciate them getting stuck in the wall. Gives me a little bit more time. Oh. Over there. Now the question is, do we bother raiding all the crypts or not? Okay, I stand closer than I wanted to. One more in this chamber, I think. Yeah. There's a Templar. The Templar's still alive. That's not supposed to be the case. They're supposed to be dead. They are basically dead, though. They're just, they're still, like, they're not even... Oh, they are doing the breathing motion. Huh. Well, free XP. Like, story-wise, they're supposed to be dead, so it wouldn't make any sense to leave them alive, because they are basically dead. Oh, shit, I have to go, though. We cannot take two of these guys. Shit. 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 What? Leave me alone by the time I make it to the end? Yes. Yes, it will. Keep going a little bit. Just doesn't come at me. And head back in. I can take one hitting me for a minute. Cannot take two. Definitely two, yeah. Okay, give him the space he needs. Shoot her! Okay, the body fall. Uh, dude, you're gonna have to start hitting soon. Hit him, come on. There we go. All in a day's work. Yeah, did we loot all the mummies? Maybe I'll uh, fast forward that when I get around to do that. It's usually the last thing I do. Okay. Yeah, this one's already dead. As they should be. But we got 170 free XP, so nothing wrong with that. There's one that's still alive right now, too. Come on. Fuck sakes. Uh, let's not shoot the core. <laughs> Accidentally shot the Templar. Thanks, Rial. You really arrived in the last moment. Yeah, you're not invincible at all. Kor Engar sent me. Have you found any sign of the sleeper? Not so far. But what about Iberian? Has he come to yet? No, he's still unconscious. We need to solve the riddle of these caves. After all these dreadful losses, well, I can't go good. back to the community empty-handed. But my Viking skills are limited, and the orcs don't react to my magic spells like the gullible people in the old camp do. If our brotherhood sent you, maybe you could help me with the further investigation of this tomb. I'll help you. Good. Excellent. There are three tunnels leading out of this hall. We should search them all. Go ahead. I'll follow you. Can you help me, Lacar? Fuck! This is your fault! Glad to know you'll always help me when we're in a pinch. Not even useful as a meat shield. Okay, I'm gonna rage a Templar buddy though, because he's got a reasonable sword. Although, I like how every single Templar in the entire game has a two-handed weapon, and these ones have one-handed weapons. 
I think they did it because they know that two-handed swords... I mean, look at the rusty two-handers we have. They're worth, I mean, originally, like, 1400 or a piece, but we sell them for 740 but that's a lot. And you would be getting them for free, so that's why they had to give you cheaper, crappier weapons. They're still valuable, but not nearly as much. Ooh, we found a half of the parchment. One of our people has died, and you huh. have something to do with it. One tiny mistake, and you're done for. Hmm. This tunnel leads to a dead end. There is a torn piece of parchment here. It looks like an Orcus spell scroll, but it's been torn in two. There must be another half somewhere. Must there be? Well, let's... Abuse our ranged abilities. And also the dumb frickin' AI. I mean, it's... It's very old AI. Where's the Pathfinder, though? Could come out of there. We'll just, uh, we'll go this way. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb AI, but very smart pathfinding. So maybe it is smart AI in like one aspect. Okay, come on, we gotta heal up. Chow down on bread and uh, Seraphis. The number of plants that are in this game that did not make it into Gothic 2 or 3 is crazy. Like, most of them made it into Gothic 2, but they changed a few things, and then they pared it down even further when they went into Gothic 3, and I don't know why they did that. It was nice to have so many unique plants. I mean, I think they just did it for simplicity's sake. Like, there's no reason why you need, like, 57 different healing plants. One will do, and then a couple of miscellaneous plants for alchemical purposes, and other than that, that's it. With the range of plants in this game, there's, like... A much larger list of, you know, recipes that you could do. But maybe that was overcomplicating a bit. Because for alchemy's sake, like, assuming you have lots of different potions that require similar-ish ingredients, or the same ingredients in some cases, you wouldn't want to, like, spread yourself too thin because otherwise, you know, then you're gonna... You're gonna have to start picking and choosing which potions you want to brew because you'll lock yourself out of other ones. So that would be the mechanical reason for that. So I guess as they developed alchemy, they, they had to pare it down just to keep yourself from screwing yourself over, basically. Which, fair enough. Either that or they would just have to overpopulate the land with plants. Um, and if they did that, then they just have to drastically reduce the value. So more work on several fronts there, I guess. For this, and we seem to have lost the core. Get there. You looking hey. for trouble with me again? For fuck's sakes, dude. You're alive. I found a piece of parchment. For now. Very good. It's the other half of the Orcus spell scroll. What do we do with the two pieces now? The two halves match, but I can't translate these Orcus signs. I came across some dead Templars on the way here. What happened? Master Kor Angar sent us here to investigate the caves. We expected to find nothing but stuffy graves and half-decomposed mummies. Suddenly, the darkness shifted and there were orcs everywhere. I don't know what they're looking for here, but their appearing here is more than unusual. Where are the other Templars? Dead. I unwittingly led them to their destruction. I hope the sleeper will pardon me. Yes, I'm sure he'll pardon you just fine, because he does not give a shit if humans live or die. We'll wait for you. Hang on. This is interest. Well, I can't find anything interesting in this place. Be silent, and take a look at the ornamental runes in this cave. Yeah, these should suffice to translate the two halves of the parchment. How are runes that you don't understand going to help I you? I have it. Do it's that. a teleportation spell. Strange. 
Like, presumably you can't read any of these runes. So why would seeing more runes help you translate it unless there happens to be English written on them as well? And I highly doubt that. Why are they always in pairs now? I'm pretty sure that's not the way it's- Oh, fuck! Okay, we're going. You can stand there, but I'm getting the fuck out. Not taking on all of them at once. Shit, he's pissed. Can't do it with a bow. He's still chasing me. What? What the fuck is going on? Orcs are not supposed to chase you this long. I promise. There is something going on. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well, thankfully it got stuck, so we're just gonna abuse that and kill it. Shit. I don't know what happened there. They're definitely not supposed to chase you that long. Nothing in this game chases you that long. Some sort of glitch happened. Luckily, we got through it. We're gonna use glitches to beat the game, but uh, the game's gonna use glitches to beat us. Get the scout. Where did Lucor go? We seem to have lost Lucor again. Maybe he's in the basement again. Fuck. Fuck. Oh no! It's like, where? I heard the sound. Oh, thank God for the stunning. As long as you get good connected hits, you can stun lock them a little bit. Doesn't usually work that well, though, so that's lucky. The core. Oh, good. He was just stuck in that corner. Okay, come on. We gotta go this way, Bo. Buddy. Okay. Into the main hall. Don't get. What are you looking at? Come this way. Into the middle. Wait for him to run up. Oh, run, I said. <laughs> Saunter very slowly and casually. This place has a special aura. This hall reminds me of the image in the vision. The vision? We're very close to our target. Yeah. The target is this obvious door over here, Lacor. Unfortunately, we cannot get into it any other way than uh, the intended means. We could make ourselves see it by clipping into the wall. It's not, it's not hard to see there. It's actually not that thick of a, like, quote-unquote stone, but... Seeing that there's no, like, good corner to wedge yourself into, you can't do the weird strafing trick. Oops. There's just enough... Okay, now that Lucor is here, it's gonna target him. Behind this wall? That must be it. My magic powers are still very weak. Use the Orcish teleportation spell here, in front of this wall. Anyway, so this is the mulligan we're going to use. Um, yeah, I spent like an hour this morning trying to find another way to get through it. No such luck, so here we go. Okay. Zvinch. I wonder if it's possible to get out this way because you can wedge yourself into the corner and clip through. But I think part of the problem is the fact that the wall actually goes past the wall, if you know what I mean. You found the hidden place, my- And does the answer to the strange invocation of the sleeper really lie here? It looks more like another burial chamber to me. We need to proceed. 
Go ahead. I'll follow you. Yes. I know you'll follow me. I'm just gonna take this out just in case. Doubt and ahead purposes, you know? No other reason whatsoever. Bay. The core? No! This can't be true. There's nothing here but but dust and and bones. No! Master, speak to me. Sleeper, reveal yourself. No! That was it. Now he's gone completely crazy. This is all your fault. Your unholy presence has enraged the almighty Sleeper. Now I shall have to suffer for your sacrilegious behavior. I need to make a sacrifice for the Master. A human sacrifice! Then he'll be sure to enlighten me and make me his servant! Die, infidel! Yeah. We all knew how this song and dance was gonna go. Everyone that worships the sleeper goes fucking nuts. I wonder if that's a bad omen. No, couldn't be. Why was this a sacrificial chamber though? Like, I mean, this is an orcish place and they had the sort of death stabbing through a human skeleton. Clearly something else going on story-wise. I guess we'll take the one solitary mushroom and then we'll get the hell out. Oh yeah, I guess I could montage um, going through the mummies because there's lots of healing potions that it'd be a shame to turn all those down. Actually, some plants over here too. Lots of them. Solanance and Lunacy. Lunacy? Solanacy and Lunacy. Lunacy. That would be funny. Okay. Get the hell out of this hellhole and rest assured there is nothing up top. I did try getting through the wall that way as well. It did not work. Okay. I'm gonna try to heal, but healing doesn't really work when you can't see your friggin' inventory. Eat some mushrooms. Wow, this is the slowest healing ever. Okay. To the mummy chamber. Maybe I'll just have to uh, patch in some comments after the fact because... Trying to estimate how much time you need to, like, talk while you're fast-forwarding, or while you're going to be fast-forwarding, but it isn't actually happening while you're talking, is kind of a pain in the ass. Although, to be fair, the way I've been ch abusing that is just basically... I change the fast-forward speed. Like, I just set the properties and the playback menu and just go like, oh, okay, like, what's my sound wave clip look like? Okay. It's this long. What does uh, two times speed get me at? And if it's, you know, too much, then I just, you know, slow it down to like 1.8 or whatever the hell. Whatever it needs, or maybe sometimes speed it up. It is still a pain, though, and it leaves it looking kind of inconsistent. I noticed playing back the one thing, I sped it up, I think, like 2.5 times, and all of a sudden the frame rate started looking real choppy. Well, the frame rate was choppy because, I mean, the game is recorded at 30 FPS. And I know I should be doing 60, but like, generally speaking, if I'm not speeding up footage, 30 is just fine. Um, it only becomes a problem when I'm fast forwarding stuff, so maybe I should like pre-plan my records a little more. Luckily the software does a little bit of way to smooth it, but it, uh, it still looks like crap. So, I guess I can't like, that's the other thing, is I can't comment on like things that are happening like at in the moment is because, um, well, obviously they won't be happening in the same moment. There are some goodies in here, like it's mostly healing potions I'm after, but every once in a while there's something else that's good too. The other unfortunate thing about this whole sequence is that some of the mummies have absolutely nothing. And you just waste your time going in and out of the animation, which generally is like a minor inconvenience, but when you're recording is kind of like a slightly bigger inconvenience. I always feel like guilty when like you're actively wasting time on screen. 
to be fair, could edit it out, but I like having, like, a consistent run through everything. Like, I don't like having stuff that's, like, specifically taken out, except for, like, you know, getting back to a certain point after death or something like that. Otherwise, I like everything to be as natural as possible. So nice in one regard. Um, I don't know where the switch for those guys is, so we're just gonna call it good there. Get the hell out of here. Any minute now. That was almost concerning. <laughs> the game almost wasn't gonna let me out of the cave. And then where would we be? Stuck inside the cave, that's where we'd be. I would hope that a save and load would fix the problem, but you never quite know. We'll have to go report ourselves to Angar. We'll have to do like another mini side quest thing for him, and then that'll probably be our day. It's unfortunate you can't just ride the river, like go swimming and just like ride the current all the way back to the Brotherhood is like a cheap exploit. But uh, the waterfall will kill you. Because it's very shallow water under the waterfall and the, like the weird thing about the falling physics means that like you will fall inside the water rather than like along the water, if that makes sense. And so like the gravity doesn't change. And that caused a problem. I mean, like, it didn't intend on you, like, falling in water, really. Sad life. Just gotta walk. And also, like, even the leap jump isn't particularly helpful going downhill because it gets stuck. You have to do, like, the get up animation, and that actually takes more time, not less. Alright, but now we can get back to maximum efficiency. I like how Iberian's like basically dead and everyone's just going about their lives, having casual conversation. But he's just sleeping. Wait, where the fuck's Angar? Oh, he is there. I've been to the Orc Cemetery. There was nothing there. No sleeper, no sign, no nothing. What about Baal Lucor and the Templars? Some people They're all dead. Dead? But why? What happened? The entire cave system is teeming with orcs. Baal Lucor and myself survived, but suddenly Baal Lucor went mad. He screamed that the sleeper had ordered him to kill me, and he intended to obey this order. It would appear he couldn't handle the fact that he hadn't found anything. I don't believe that the influence of the sleeper can cause Same such violent deeds. It cannot, cannot, irrelevant. The most important thing is that Baal Lacor did several. not succeed I'm in not his madness. Involved. Iberion is our only hope now. If you think... How is Iberion doing? He won't wake of his own accord. What do you want me to do? Get me the healing herbs from the swamp. Five of the strongest kind should be sufficient. Please, hurry. I like how we've literally never spoken to Korangar, like, before this whole point, because we're not with the Brotherhood. So he's like, you're the only one that I trust to go report back about the cemetery. And then you say, oh, all the Templars are dead, and Balakor went mad and attacked me, and I was forced to defend myself. <laughs> and not for one second does he go, okay... So you killed them all. <laughs> so they're all dead and you're the only one that survived. That's interesting. You're, uh... You're not a psychopath, are you, by chance? No, it never happens. Well... Let's, uh, scratch the comment about maximum efficiency. That was about the least efficient way of getting across as physically possible, but... What do you want from me? Okay, just go this way, and I guess we'll kill the blood flies. And what are they gonna do? Stop me? Can't believe that connected. There must be like a massive hitbox on the blood flies, because otherwise there is no way in hell that some of these should be connecting. Are they possible to hit when they're in the water? Yes, yes they are. 
I hate how this bow does like 99% of their health if you don't crit. Why couldn't I just do like two more damage? And I'm assuming it doesn't do enough to kill a swamp shark. The big assumption I know, but uh, they got a lot of armor. Like they're a very, very high level creatures. Oh shit. That's a bad sign. Not get struck down by the barrier. Just uh, tiptoe our way across the swamp here. And then we're gonna kill some blood flies. I don't think they can even damage me with his armor, I'm pretty sure. Is it five of the strongest kind? For some reason, I thought that there was like three kinds, like. I'm not talking like a recent playthrough, but like way, way l a long time ago. I was so convinced there was three types of healing plants, but there isn't. There's just the two. There's the ones with the yellow leaves and the ones that don't have them. Like a Mandela effect thing. Except I think that actually has to affect more than one person for that to be an actual thing, and I'm probably the only person that's ever noticed that. Or even, you know, thought that that wasn't the case. More the important point. Said five. We're gonna collect all of them though, because I want some too. Look, some weak ones. Uh, it's interesting that they have the exact same name too. They're not called something else. Shit! We're in the glitchy water. Back to Angar, and then after that, uh, I guess we'll wrap it up for the night. Well, maybe we'll go raid Klum's chest. There is, um, there is some footage to be fast forwarded, so I can afford just a little bit more time than normal. More than I think I can, I guess, is more the thing. There we go. See, that was the efficient path through. I don't know what the fuck I was doing before. Too bad we can't uh, get Kalama's place on the way, but we need the key from Angar. Pretty sure, anyway. Alright, and I like how the only way they do that is they just, like, perpetually cast sleep. It's the same way that the sleeper works. Angar! I have the healing herbs for Iberian. Well done. Iberian woke up for a short time while you were out. Did he say anything? Yes. He said that the sleeper is not what we think he is. All we can do is hope that it is not too late for Iberian. Iberian is dead. Even your quick help could not prevent his death. What now, Kor Engar? I have always trusted Iberian. Shortly before he died, he placed all his hopes on the escape plan of the Magicians of Water. Then we should support the Magicians of Water in their plan. They'll need the Focus and the Almanac. Both things are still in Kor Kalam's possession. Where is Kor Kalam? In a rage, he set out with a couple of Templars to find his own way to the Sleeper. Damn, how can we get the Focus now? I believe he left the book and focus in his laboratory. Here is the key for the chest. One moment. Yes? Take this rune of magic as a sign of our gratitude for your great deeds. This will allow you to teleport fast and easily to the courtyard of our temple whenever the need arises. Thank you. And we won't be using it because it's against the rules. Okay, let's go get to the book and the focus. Same old story every time. And then that's probably what we'll call it, I guess. Wait a minute, where the hell am I going? The wrong way, that's where I'm going. Right, this way, over here, this is where the labs are. Done this enough times, you'd think I would just know instinctively. I'm still going the wrong way, what the f 
Okay, it's fine. You could write it off as intentional, right? Yes, but before we go back to the water mages, we're going to go to the old camp. Got some business to conduct there. How come you didn't go with Kalam? I don't like how he said, oh, he took a couple of Templars. There's like 50 apocalyptic Templars. Not a couple. It might not be 50 either, but like 20? It's a lot. And novices too, I'm pretty sure. So like, it's not a small number of people that he has with him. Where'd Kalam go? Oh, I was going to talk to Kane, but uh, well, the ladder was there. Come on down. Okay, maybe we have more time to play with than I thought. We got a bit of time before the hour's up. Because uh, I did all that fast forwardy business. Or will have done. It's weird to talk about time in like the past but is also the future. Alright. So we're actually gonna go make our stay in the old camp. That way I can't possibly forget to wrap things up while we're there. We're gonna get all the arrows that we possibly can for the merchants there. I think it's just Dexter. Um, but on the off chance that Fisk has something that I want, we'll talk to him too. It's probably just Dexter. I mean, there is also, you know, the matter of the Ore Baron's house and all that stuff. Technically, it's guarded at all times, um, and I don't think I can sneak in anyway. But we could go through the guard houses, um, and I'm pretty sure some of those loop around to give me some reasonable loot. I don't know how much of that loot is arrows, is the thing. I also don't really care. I just like stealing from Gomez because he's a rich asshole. He's the first guy that was a complete dickhead and was like, hey, you know what? We could, uh, we could totally screw the king over and we could just basically be rich guys. And you know what? Why would we even want to leave if we basically control the friggin' valley? We don't have to work. We just put everyone else to work and we just sit here and enjoy our stuff. Fuck that guy. Pompous asshole. Hey guys, it's been a long time. You know what? While we're here, then I can't possibly forget if I just talk to Dexter now. Dexter, buddy. Dude. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. No, you have shit here. That's what you have. 50 arrows. Wow, I'm so glad that I wasted my precious time. Okay. Would you like some crush Verox? Like a lot of them. Like a whole lot of them. Okay, well, we've started bleeding into the stuff. We'll uh, take lock picks while we're at it. Just to bring our value up. There. That's a fair trade. Fisk? You got anything? Probably not. Show me your goods. I guess it makes sense that they didn't- holy shit, he's got a lot of ore. Didn't update the merchants with a lot of stuff? Because otherwise... You would just miss out on all that as soon as the old camp turns on you. Okay, well, we're gonna take that ore, I think. Maybe I should have done that with uh, What's-His-Face, too. I uh, give you... All of that. Just give me all your ore. Well, shit. Those are both very valuable. There. That's more fair. You too, Dexter, actually. I want your ore. What no, you that's not what I wanted to ask. Show me your goods. Does he not have any ore? It's usually at the top. He might not have any ore. He's just got a lot of orc weapons. Well, fuck this guy. 
Anyone else we can trade with? Uh, there's the smith. And uh, maybe last night on the old camp, because there's not really any reason to come back. So we uh, go to the new camp, there's really no reason to come back. We talked to Diego, but what am I going to do? Increase my deck some more? I guess we could. Can't hurt, right? What else am I going to put my points into? Nothing. Letcher. It's a long walk to the smith. Probably would have been a lot faster to go the other way. This is not the first time I pointed this out in this series. <laughs> Who know? Uh, I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. Oh, he doesn't have ore. He's just got stuff, huh? Wow. Hush my mouth. Well, maybe we'll just call it a night then. This is our place, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Next time. We get to the real meaty stuff. But until then, please like the video. And have yourselves a good one. Bye.